Hi, this is Dr. Mason, the medical director here at Enhanced Auditory Resources, and this is an introduction for the seven-part mini-seminar that uh, we're going to be uh, doing uh, as part of our patient education uh, uh, effort. There is no question that when you uh, uh, consider buying a hearing aid, and if you're, you're listening to this uh, introduction, uh, you're looking for information, and we find that an informed patient, an informed consumer, consumer is our best resource. So to help inform you, one of the things we've done is put together this mini seminar and uh, we start out with talking about how you hear, how you're hearing me right now, what are the uh, causes of hearing loss. We pay a lot of attention to the treatable causes of hearing loss because it would be a shame to be sitting there with a hearing loss for a period of time and assume that it's just a cochlear or nerve loss and we explain that in the seminar what that looks like with a diagram of the ear um, uh, and in fact have something that's correctable. The correctable causes of hearing loss are uh, uh, middle ear fluid which can be due to allergies, head colds, things like that but there are inner ear causes of hearing loss uh, related to Meniere's disease which is a, uh, a, a drop in hearing in the low frequencies in the inner ear. It could be a sudden hearing loss and we're very concerned about it and we talk about that uh, in the mini seminar. Um, uh, the uh, uh, seminar goes on uh, uh, in the next section uh, to really uh, look at uh, hearing aids and um, uh, the different options available to you. Uh, there are several different types of hearing aids. This happens to be one of them. This is a uh, uh, behind the ear aid. This is actually a small computer. Uh, if it's behind the ear, it is connected with a virtually invisible wire to a receiver that sits in the ear. This is what a hearing aid looks like today. These are terribly sophisticated instruments. This is a computer. We go into why you need two of them, and you do. If you just had one lens in your eyeglass, you wouldn't wear it. Uh, it's too much distortion. If you just have one hearing aid, it's very hard to adapt to it. We go into why they're so expensive. This is actually a computer that is miniaturized. Um, it is Bluetooth compatible, so you can hear your cell phone, uh, your television, your home phone, the GPS in your car, anything that's Bluetooth compatible, you will hear through both hearing aids. Um, it has directional microphones, so if you're sitting in a crowded restaurant, that's frequently the uh, most frustrating thing for someone with any sort of hearing loss, the directional microphones tell you that the speaker is to your right so the microphones rotate in that, in that direction. They also have filtering functions so that uh, the uh, waiter shuffling, shuffling silverware behind you, the hearing aid knows that's not a speech frequency and filters that out. These are uh, uh, tremendously sophisticated uh, instruments. We go on uh, to talk about why hearing aids don't work because that's what you've heard already. And frequently that is because either it's the wrong hearing aid you've been given or, more important, that it's the programming that is off. Consumer Reports in July of last year did an excellent article on hearing aids and how to buy a hearing aid. And one of the things they said is they sent out people and had them buy hearing aids and then they had an independent audiologist test the program of those hearing aids. Two-thirds of the hearing aids were improperly programmed, either too much or too little amplification. Well, what that tells us is you could get the best state-of-the-art hearing aid, and if it's improperly programmed, it's virtually worthless to you. It's going to sit in your bedside drawer. So we, we address those issues. Um, uh, this uh, uh, mini-seminar, at the end of the seven-part mini-seminar, you will know more than your primary care physician about hearing loss and hearing aids, and that is to your advantage. This is an expensive and important decision. You know, the average person waits seven years from the onset of a hearing loss that they notice and others notice to when they finally do something about it. The fact that you are listening and gotten this far in uh, this introductory video means that you're already at the second stage where you're no longer waiting, but you're about to do something about it. So. 
uh, certainly give us your name, your email, and then that's how we will get, send you the mini seminar, which is downloadable, uh, and you'll be able to uh, view the entire seven part mini seminar. Also, check out our website, earresources.com. That's earresources.com, where we have a list of uh, resources in addition to this mini seminar. The more you know, the better equipped you are to make this decision. Thanks for listening.